This is Coyote News. Kanye West's new album is bringing attention to a much larger problem. Lexi Alvarez has more on this week's Yote Report. Have you ever shared a song or movie with a friend? It could be more serious than you think. Sharing your favorite songs or movies could possibly lead you to violating copyright laws. Kanye West's new album was illegally downloaded at least 500,000 times within the first 24 hours of the album being released, just on one website alone. If caught illegally downloading, using, or sharing any media, could land yourself in prison or paying thousands of dollars in fines. Kanye West's album isn't the only thing being pirated, though. I sat down with Joe Reynoldson to learn about the illegal downloading of media right here on campus. It's not just music. Um, it's more often that it's videos, um, movies, or television that's copyrighted. Um, and then the thing that started happening recently um, more often is books, especially textbooks. We're getting notifications about textbooks now. He says after the university is notified of a student violating copyright laws, USD contacts the student, then refers the case to the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities. I spoke with John Howe about the consequences a student could possibly face. It really is dependent upon the, the judicial process here. So when a student enters the conduct system here at the university, it really is um, based upon previous interactions with the system. You know, so it really would depend on the student themselves. You know, so if this is their third offense of something, it's, it's violative in multiple ways than of having previously entered the system. It would be a harsher sanction than if a student, this was their first offense. Reports say illegal downloads and sharing of media cost the U.S. economy an estimated $250 billion per year and is responsible for the loss of 750,000 American jobs per year. So think twice the next time you click download. For the Yote Report, I'm Lexi Azarov.